Arun and Sadio Sunday. Welcome to our Friday night mashup where we talk about anything and anything in boxing this week. But first up, David Adelaide, mate. Yeah, so we just finished watching the David Adelaide fight versus Bezos from Ukraine. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was a good, good fight, wasn't it? Yeah, it was not, not too bad, to be fair. Yes, a nice stiff jab in the first round for David Adelaide. Mm. Little, knocked, little flash knockdown. Knocked down Bezos uh, in your call. Seemed like a good crowd in there as well, didn't it? Yeah, it did seem a bit lively, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then was it round two, round three, where he got the TKO? Yeah. Yeah, he was a, I think it was a, was it a, a right stiff jab to the body and then uh, a yeah. left hook to the head. Yeah, body head, body head. You know, yeah, it, it works so well, doesn't it? It, does. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds simple, but yeah. it just opens you up. So. It's yeah. mad how, how more fighters don't don't work, work the body first and yeah. then go straight to the head. Yeah, focus too much on the head and not yeah. line up on the body. But yeah, he was uh, he, he did the business in there, mm. and he had his uh, new addition to the team, a uh, member of or the old member of the Sugar Hill side. Um, but yeah, he looks like he's he's made some improvements. That he, he went for a little bit of a lull when he fought, I think it was Sokolowski. Yeah. And, uh, a bit it controversial, was, that one, wasn't bit, it? Bit of a controversial decision. Mm. But he's gone away to the US, he's done a training camp there, he's come back, and he looks he looks fresh, he looks yeah. rejuvenated. Looks like a, a monster, really, I reckon. He's going to he's gonna have a little bit of an impact in the, in the <laughs> division, I feel like. Well, when I first saw him, I thought he looked like a sort of a young Mike Tyson, you know, <laughs> yeah. like... He's just got that stocky build, isn't he? Like, well, it looks like he's got the power, so... Yeah. You never yeah, know. I think I mean, it's just that he's got to work a little bit more it in, he? on the accuracy. Mm. But it looks like he is investing in himself and, uh, by, as I said, by going to that US, doing that training camp there yeah. this time round, bringing in another trainer in. Yeah, so He's just got to keep active, isn't he, really? Mm. And there was talks of him fighting for a British title maybe later on in the year. Mm. Who, who's got it at the moment? Is it Fabio Wardley? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be a good fight as well. It'd be interesting to see. The matchmaker is that again, isn't it? So, but then you've got Queensbury, you've got Matchroom. Would yeah. they battle it together? Maybe they could for this and one. Maybe that neither of them probably want their fighter to lose that O. He's 11-0 now, though. He's doing all right. He's doing all right. Mm. They just need to find a couple more good fights for him. Yeah. yeah and then he'll start getting up there, won't he? Yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, it was good to watch <coughs> Friday Night Boxing. You can't go wrong, really. But what else has been happening in boxing this week? Well, not really this week. <laughs> he still so, doesn't get the concept but, of this, uh, <laughs> you know. We didn't do a Friday Night Matchup last week, did we? Stuff. So we'll let you off. Let I, you off. I think it would be rude to not talk about Joshua Franklin. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Joshua is back in town. Yeah. Um, what do you Promoting think about the fight. That? Yeah. I, I liked it. He seemed a lot more confident mm. when he was speaking. So he's gone off to the US. He's training with Derek James. We said it, didn't we? We said, Let, he needs to go away. Yep. He needs to go fight dangerous guys. He needs to go to a camp where he's out of his own sort of comfort zone. Yeah. Back to uh, basics, isn't it? And uh, we, we said it, didn't he? Like, in, in the interviews and stuff, he seemed a bit more... He did. He did. And he stuck around for quite a while. So it was... yeah. It's good. He wasn't second guessing himself when he was speaking mm. as much, which which is nice. Yeah, it was definitely a bit more down to earth rather than yeah, a bit all over the place like he was last time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, well, what do you reckon about the matchup with with Franklin? It could be, could be a, a bit of a mistake. It could could be potentially. Well, we said, didn't we? You got Franklin, who's the smaller guy, punching up. He's still got that Ruiz type mould, doesn't he? Mm. And we we said it's just it, he seemed to lack the power. That's the only thing with Franklin, which is probably why they've chosen him to be probably. Fair. Probably they, they sort of kind of tested him out on Dillian White. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like Dillian White, you yeah, go you, right. you go right first, Dillian White, and then uh, see how it goes, and then and now they're gonna fight Joshua, or he's gonna fight Joshua. But I don't know. Franklin looked like he's getting. A bit more of an edge to him this time as well. That's true, yeah. I think he's getting a bit used to that. A bit more media presence himself as well. He, I don't think he was originally in yeah. the spotlight that often, was he? Yeah. But now, two big UK fights definitely yeah. throws him in there. It's in the O2 as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's up the, up the road from us. Yeah, it should be good. 
So Good yeah. Night out. But yeah, we'll be be interested to see what happens there. He gets a lot of stick, Joshua, and I think it's I think it's just harsh. I mean, he lost two fights to Usyk. Yeah. One of arguably one of the pound for pound for best in the world at the moment. Um, and he did do better in the second fight. Yeah. So you can't begrudge him building up. Trying, mm. he needs a confidence building fight. So I think I think the biggest one was Ruiz. But then look what Ruiz has done since then. He, yeah. It now he's a bit more on the spotlight. People can actually see he's a decent fighter. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And they were touting him to fight Wilder as well, wasn't they? Yeah. Although yeah. now. It's. It looks like Ruiz might be fighting Hergovic. That's been ordered. Mm. That, that could. That, that's that could be interesting. That's a good fight as well. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, Hergovic a lot taller of the two. Um, he didn't look good in his last reach. fight, did he, Hergovic? No, nah, he, he didn't. He didn't. That's why I would. I. I would actually. I think Ruiz was the favorite in that mm. fight for me. But I would say Hergovic was going for a lot. It was, it was only, I think, it was under a year where he unfortunately lost his father. So mm. um, that that's, that could really affect your confidence. He, did, he didn't look right at all. Nah. And he was gassing out. I've never, that's the poorest I've seen Hogovic. Yeah. And so I think I think there was too much going on outside the ring. So it's a, yeah, it's a good fight. You've got the shorter, faster punch in. Likes the combo. Ruiz versus Hergovic. So, mm. but anyway, what else has been going on this week? We're kicking off in the cinema, isn't it? Well, what I heard was <laughs> <laughs> this is this is how it went, yeah, yeah. So, uh, react for he was just in line. He, he wanted some of that sweet and salty popcorn. Sweet and salty, yeah, yeah. And some was, tropical fruit bubblicious yeah. and some skittles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he was he was waiting. And then a Cody come out of nowhere. <laughs> Wait, he cut the line. He cut the line, bro. Yeah, yeah. And oh. then you just don't do that to react for a movie. <laughs> and I heard like Cody had like some big bag of pick and mix. Yeah. And he was just like, let me what, go for it. Not gonna share me, share me some, some of the <laughs> pick and mix. And it all just kicked off. Yeah. Just, just had a little rumble, <laughs> rumble at the cinema. <laughs> and Spencer Fearon in the middle there, like jumping in. Yeah. Just stop it! Just stop it! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it weren't, it weren't really the time or place, was it? Like, nah. It was, it was. At Some the people premiere. said it was staged. Do you think it was staged? Ah, oh, you know what? Hearing back, like Spencer Fearon's interview on it. Was it IFL? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. TV. I mean, he he for sure says it, it wasn't, but yeah. He's not going to say it is stage, is he? That's, that's the only thing. Yeah. I, yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? To Some of these things, like, they, they say it's stage, and like, how, how could you even stage that? But I don't know. I think I think after the interview that happened with Akoli and Riakpour, mm. Riakpour got a bit of a stick because he kind of looked like he wasn't... Wasn't up for it. He wasn't really yeah, committed he wasn't to really, it. Yeah, he wasn't really like, yeah, I want to fight you. And, yeah. And obviously Akoli's got that belt, hasn't he? So, yeah, yeah. Akoli was like, I'll bring it. Like, if, if you want it, is yeah, he so I think I think he's been building in the background, winding himself mm. up maybe with maybe some of the comments and react poor just sort of just he just saw red. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean But we we were saying, promotion either way, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you got React Poor, you got Cody, I think Billum Smith was there as well. Yeah, uh, he, he did get involved in it. <laughs> like a free Sounds like that's a good turnout for Cruise Street. Cruise away. <laughs> Yeah, where, where was our where was our tickets? I know, right? I was waiting for the tickets, but they just they just didn't come, yeah. man. They yeah. just didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, looking forward to that f- that f- f- film, innit? Yeah, like Michael B. Jordan, like he's he's sick Creed, really. Creed three, you can't go wrong, really. So yeah. Um, and what else? Anything else going on this week? There's the uh, Josh Taylor fight versus Catchall. Looks like that's falling through that, again. That's madness, bro. Like. I, Josh Taylor, like Josh Taylor, just fight Catchall. We're saying it here, just fight you're just, him. You're just looking, you're running scared, bro. It's not, it's not a good. I look. don't think he's scared. You don't think he's scared? You can't say he's scared. Why? Why would you not? Everyone said that Josh Taylor lost that fight. Yeah, but so in, I, I, in his eyes, I believe he thinks he knows he's lost that fight. Yeah, and he doesn't want to risk a potential another loss. You got all the belts. 
I, I think it's a weight thing. I, I think he struggles to make the weight big time. It looked maybe he was trying to get down to the weight and it just wasn't happening. And you reckon he was struggling with it? Yeah, I think he's still struggling with it. I mean, he was struggling with it when he fought catch in the yeah. first place. And, and we did say yeah. maybe it was a bit of weight drain. Yeah. But, but at the end of the day, credit where credit due. Catch on the fight. Yeah, yeah. so I, I think where he said he was going to fight him again, mm. he needs to fight him. Like, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. If you're not going to do it, then just, just don't say you're going to do it, innit? Yeah, and then uh, you've got Bob Arum trying to line up the fight with Teofimo Lopez, which is... It is a good fight as well, to be fair. It I'd is, like to yeah. see that fight. I would, I would the build-up like would be fight. good. Yeah. You can yeah. have Teofimo Lopez's dad involved. Just Taylor, <laughs> he, he, he's not afraid to mince his words. Lopez doesn't look the same. I, I feel like since since he's... Um, since he's lost, yeah. Yeah, it's... He's, yeah, not, he's, he's not been the same person. Again, it's another one he's a bit mentally fragile, I think. Yeah. I think we said before, Denny, he needs to move away from his dad as a trainer. Yeah, I think so. And there, there was that sparring video. I don't know whether you saw it. He was fight, no. fighting someone. The guy turned turned his back and then he, he threw a punch at it. The guy's back of his head. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know in a boxing ring you're meant to defend yourself at all times, but yeah, if you're, if if you're in spar- sparring, you don't yeah. throw... Like, if a guy's turned away and it's inspiring, then... It's not on, is it? Yeah, so... Yeah, mm. I don't know about that one. But, yeah, it, it would be a good fight. Um, mm. But we want to see the the Jack Catcher one. But Chris, yeah. Chris Eubank Jr. would push for the rematch and they said they want to do it, so... I can't believe he did it. I, honestly. Really? I can't. I mean, I can... I can see his, his pride's got in the way here. I feel like his pride's got in the way. It's the wrong move. Yeah. It's the wrong move. Not not because he lost, but I think, it, again, there's another one where I think the weight is, is too... Exactly. It's draining. I mean, I just, I, it's, not, it's not a weight for him anymore. Nah. And we, we said it before, 160 is tight. Mm. He, he, he's tight when he's trying to get down to it. Um, and we were saying when he was lined up to fight Conor Ben, but how, how, he, quite, he struggles to make... It looks like he struggles to make 160, yeah. 157. Um, and I think that fight just shows with that, Ian Smith that we were right. His punch was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah. We were right again. Yeah, everyone else was uh, saying it was going to be a hard night, but we, we said um, Liam Smith, Smith would, win, get, yeah. it would get the victory, or we thought he'd get the victory. So, But yeah, I don't, I don't like the abuse that he's getting, though, because... I don't know, like, on talk sport you've got, um, was it Simon Jordan? Simon Jordan just digs into everyone, like, for no yeah, reason, well, I feel like. he. I, I'm pretty sure he was saying that Chris, Chris Eubank Jr. would win that fight as well. I feel like he was. Yeah. And he just, what is, what? Eubank Jr. lost the fight. Mm. He gave Liam Smith the props after the fight. Yeah, he shook yeah. his hand. He said the yeah. better man won. It's true. He's gone away. He's n- he himself has not made any excuses. Maybe his team has said something about an elbow. Mm. And he wants a rematch. So he's got a clause for it. So, I mean, he's entitled to it. He's entitled to it. But should he take it? Mm, in my eyes, no. No. I think he would have been better off going having maybe like a little rebuilding fight mm. at a higher weight. Yeah. And then maybe trying to line it up a bit down the line. He's, uh, we know he's not he's not young anymore, but I think he could still come back from it. I think he could. If... Yeah, he's still got big fights in him. Yeah, yeah, but he just he, the matchmaking needs to be there. It, the weight needs to be there. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm quite surprised he took the rematch calls to be honest. So uh, where else is going on, stuff? Or not going on at the moment. You got Fury versus Usyk. Still not signed. Still not done. Yeah, it's funny that, isn't it? Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> Supposedly, uh, <laughs> Frank Warren's promotions get the jobs done quick. But where's the where's the deadlines for uh, Usyk? I don't know. I, where are those deadlines? <laughs> or was that just for Joshua? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I still think I still think Eddie Hearn stalled the fight there, but. It's funny how there isn't the same sort of venom there, like now that they're having the same issues with UC. Exactly, man. Like, come on, man. They gave Joshua like three weeks to sign it. Yeah. And and that was so and that 
fight could happen in uh, what was it February, wasn't it? Yeah, no, no, it was December, wasn't it? December. No, but I'm saying they were saying if he fought Joshua in was it December? Yeah. Then it would leave space for Usyk fight. The Usyk fight. Yeah, that's true. Actually, Feb- yeah. end of February or March. Yeah, and that's that's not happening now. So, so it just goes to show, doesn't it? Really, like it's a lot, a lot of that stuff is probably down to to Fury's team as well. No, I, I, well, I, I, I still think it is. It was Eddie Hearn's team slowing it down. Um, they, they knew it wasn't the right move. But I think the problem now is money. So Eddie's, t- Eddie Hearn's tight with the Saudis, mm. and they were trying to get some of that Saudi money. It looks like it's not biting. T- it's, it's like they only spent that Saudi money on uh, his, his little brother who's fighting <laughs> Jake Paul. <laughs> so. I'd ra- I know which fight I'd rather see anyway. I, you know what? You know what I heard the other day? I heard that they were trying to give Jake Paul, is it like rank 15, possibly? Top 15. Top 15. Ranking if he... If he wins. I mean... Cruiserweight, well, yeah, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't think it was top 15, but either way, it's kind of... Even then, it shouldn't even be like... I feel like it shouldn't even be top 40 or what, whatever, like... If he wins the fight against Tommy Fury, then he potentially should be ranked, but he not, should not, be like... Nowhere near that high, though. I mean, who is Tommy Fury fought, really? I mean, they're not, not anyone we know. It's not... It's no one ranked, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so... It's, it's WBC trying to do a money grab. It's a dangerous, slippery slope. Yeah. Especially tied in with the whole Misfits boxing thing. And mm. I think we're going to do a deep dive on that soon. Very yeah, soon. I think we're gonna have to. What aren't our we? thoughts are because, um, yeah, it's it's, it's not There's great. A, a bit to discuss there, isn't it? I think it's bad for the, for boxing. But anyway, I think we will probably leave it there, won't we? Yeah, I think it's, it's been a lot of covered off a lot. Good little session. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe, because I know who you are. It's <laughs> not subbed. <laughs> so basically, yeah, we're trying to get to two hundred subscribers. Yeah. So. All you have to do is get a friend who hasn't subscribed already, get them to subscribe, and then that friend gets another friend to subscribe. Two friends. Yeah. Yeah. It's and then those two friends get three friends to subscribe. It's like a pyramid scheme. It is like a pyramid scheme. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But at the end of it, <laughs> we might eventually get monetized. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> So, yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if we do get monetized, we'll be doing some giveaways. And I think we're going to give away a hoodie or something when we get to 200 subscribers. But, yeah. yeah. Cool. Peace.